All right. Hello, everyone, and good morning. It is Ms. Clark here. Um, it is so good to see you. I hope that you all had a wonderful, uh, awesome holiday break, uh, whatever that entailed to you. Now, uh, unfortunately, I got sick over break, and that's why you guys are getting a video from me this week. Um, still just recovering a little bit, um, but I hope you guys are good, and I have some cool stuff in store for you today. Uh, so let's get started, yeah? All right, guys. So today we are going to be focusing on music in the Caribbean. Okay. Now, if you don't know where the Caribbean is, it is, let me pull up this map here. It is right where this box is on this globe. Okay. Um, so here we have North America, which is where we live, right? Then here, down here is Mexico. And then down here is South America. So in between North America and South America are these little islands and that's the Caribbean. Now the Caribbean is somewhere that I absolutely love and adore because their music is really, really, really cool. They have something there called a steel drum band, right? So people form these steel drum bands where they get to play these steel drums and make some really cool music. So I'm gonna show you a video right now of what I'm talking about. All right, so that was the steel drum band that I was talking about. Um, and so if you notice, there was like a ton of different people playing different kinds of drums. Um, and so this might lead you to the question, like, how do they play those? Or where do they come from? Or what are they made of? How do they have different music notes? Uh, so let's take a look at this next clip that's going to explain that to you. The story of the steel drum begins in Trinidad in the 1930s, when street band skirmishes led to the ban of skin drums. So people improvised and made drums from thick bamboo poles, car parts, tins, and finally oil barrels. They came up with a whole new sound without skipping a beat. <laughs> When people first started pounding on steel instruments, they inadvertently dented them. That's how they discovered that each dent produced a different pitch. So now steel drums are dented on purpose. To make a drum head, they cut a piece of steel into a circle. They weld a metal ring onto it, and then they position a metal shell or skirt on the ring and weld it in place. The drum is held in a big clamp while a worker pinpoints the drum head's exact center. He places a measuring guide there, using it to mark radial lines from the center to the rim. Each line is 10 degrees apart. As the drum turns, he draws circular lines to make a grid. Now he pounds the head of the drum with a pneumatic hammer, using the grid as a guide to ensure the work is done evenly. It takes eight hours of hammering to transform the drum into a bowl-like shape. This is called sinking the drum. Then, with a special guide for curved surfaces, a technician measures out another grid inside the bowled drum head. He outlines the notes that are about to be hammered out. In this case, a high B and an E. 
Then he hammers down the steel around each one to shape the note. Getting this right takes skill and a lot of time, up to 50 hours. He trims the drum skirt to the correct length and tapes a stencil of the company logo onto the skirt. This device is an electrical etching machine. It uses acid and electrical current to eat away the steel exposed through the stencil. Now a technician wields an ultrasonic thickness probe. She presses it against a note. Using high frequency sound waves, the probe measures the steel's thickness to within a fraction of a millimeter. She grinds down the notes where needed. Using a scribing tool, she scratches a line around each note so it'll be visible to the player. Now it's time to make sure they've struck the right note. To tune a steel drum, the technician plays a note with a stick and then dents it with a hammer to adjust the pitch. You have to have an ear for this job. He hammers the note until it sounds right. Sometimes he turns the drum upside down to knock out a note from the underside. For the fine tuning, he relies on an electronic tuner. A microphone delivers the sound to it, and the lines on the screen tell him if the note is in tune or not. All right. So that there is how they make the steel drums, and basically it lets you see like what is a steel drum, uh, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, anyways. Now we're going to go ahead and actually do some singing. Uh, so this song that I'm going to show you is called Shake the Papaya Down. Um, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I like papayas. I hope you do too. All right, let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> Mama says no play, this is a work day Up with the bright sun, get all the work done If you will help me climb up the tall tree Shake the papaya down <laughs> Right. So now that you guys have been able to listen to the song, I hope that you guys were able to hear those steel drums, right? And the Caribbean influence is pretty cool, yeah? Um, I like the little groove that this song creates. Um, so I want to go over the words first with you. Um, let's start from the top. You can just take your hand and pat to the beat with me and repeat after me, okay? So I go first. Mama says no play. This is a work day. Mama says no play, this is a work day. Up with the bright sun, get all the work done. Up with the bright sun, get all the work done. If you will help me climb up the tall tree. If you will help me climb up the tall tree. Shake the papaya down. Shake the papaya down. All right, now what we're gonna go ahead and do, since you know those words, okay, we're gonna go ahead and this time try singing it with me. Uh, let's sing it all the way through. Get your bodies moving and grooving. You can tap to the beat, okay? Tap to the beat as we go along with the song. Here we go. <laughs> Mama says no play, this is a work day Up with the bright sun, get all the work done If you will 
Please help me climb up the tall tree, take the papaya down. <laughs> Excellent work, you guys. Very good job. All right, you guys. So today's music lesson is going to focus on the pitch of sound. Okay, so the pitch in music is the highness or the lowness of sound. Sometimes we have pitches that can be really high up here. And sometimes we have pitches that can be really low down here. Okay, and so today we are going to call these three pitches we're learning about so, me, and do. Okay, so it's so, me, do, do, me, so. Let's take a listen to these birds to hear these pitches. Here we go. So, so. Can you sing that with me? So. Excellent. Let's try this one. Me. Me. Can you sing it with me? Me. Excellent. Do. Do. Can you sing it with me? Do. Good. Do. So it's so me do. Excellent. Now, the reason why it's important to be able to use so, me, and do is because a lot of songs use those notes, especially the song we just sang, Shake the Papaya Down. Now, what I'm talking about is this. Let's take a look here. Okay. If you look at these papaya pitches on this staff, right, these are all using so, me, and do. And I want you to take a listen to see if you can figure out which one's so, which one's me, and which one's do. Here we go. Me. Me. So. So. Me. Me. Do. Do. Excellent. So it's me, so, me, do. Can you sing that with me? One, two, ready, go. Mi, so, mi, do. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now you'll notice on this page here, it says, read these papaya pitches, touch the notes to hear the pitches, sing the pitches, and use hand signs. So in music, we use hand signs to help us measure and remember how high or low the pitch might be. Okay, so the hand sign for me, if you guys know it, is this, me, right? Right in front of you with your palm down. Me is the hand sign, okay? The next hand sign we're gonna learn is the one for so. So you take your palm toward your face, okay? So your palm's facing your face, okay? And this is so, sing that with me, so. So we have, me so, me so. Can you guys do that with me? Me so, me so. So if that's me and so, we have to figure out what do is. Well, do, you're going to take your hand and make a circle here. So this is the hand sign for do. Do. All right. Take your hand again. Do. Good job. Let's go ahead and sing these four pitches all together using hand signs. One, two, ready, go. Me, so, me, do. Here we go, go. Me, so, me, do. Good job. All right. So now that we have a better understanding of 
me, so, and Doe, we're going to go ahead and move further down on our map here, okay? We were up here in the in the Caribbean before. Now we're going to move further down into uh, South America, okay, to a place called Brazil, right? And um, this song is also, surprisingly, actually, probably no surprise, about papayas, because that's our focus for today, right? Papayas. And uh, so this song here, Mama Paquita, okay, say it with me, Mama Paquita. Great, okay. This song, Mama Paquita, um, talks about her having no money for papayas. And the reason why it's awesome is because you'll get to hear the pitches, so me and doe, in the song. Let's go ahead and take a listen first and then we'll learn it together. Mama Paquita, Mama Paquita, Mama Paquita has no money for papayas. Can't buy papayas, can't buy bananas. She cannot buy papayas or bananas no mama 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 paquita mama paquita mama paquita will not have a ripe papaya no ripe papaya no ripe banana so go to carnival to love and dance and sing mama paquita mama paquita mama paquita has no money for pajamas can't buy pajamas she cannot buy pajamas or sombreros No, mama, 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 Paquita Mama, Paquita Mama, Paquita will not have the fine pajamas No fine pajamas No fine sombreros So go to carnival to love and dance and sing Good work, you guys. All right. So now what I want us to pay attention to in this song is where the pitches, so, me, and do fall. Um, and here's the hint. It falls in this first line here. If we take a listen, Mama Paquita, Mama Paquita, oh, so, 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 me, do. Can you guys sing that with me? On so, so, me, do. Yeah. One, two, ready, go and sing. So, 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 me, do. So, 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 me, do. Excellent. That right there were the pitches so, me, and do. Now, this time, let's try to go ahead and I'm going to slow the tempo down and let's sing the song all the way through together. Mama Paquita. Mama Paquita. Here we go. Ready? You can have the beat. Mama Paquita. Mama Paquita. Mama Paquita has no money for papayas. Can't buy papayas. Can't buy bananas. She cannot buy papayas or bananas. No, Mama, Mama, Mama Paquita. Mama Paquita. Mama Paquita will not have a ripe right papaya. No ripe right papaya. No ripe right banana. So go to carnival to love and dance and sing. of you guys and the work that you guys have all been doing here um, and the fact now that not only do you know what a steel drum is from the Caribbean, but you also know the pitches, me, so, 
endo. Okay, so I don't want you to forget those for next week. Next week, I will see you guys in person as usual. Um, but until then, uh, keep practicing both of those songs because you might see them reappear next week, okay? Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye! Yeah.